Questions, oh, sure, please. 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 Uh, Hazura, there's a question from abroad. Uh, the questioner refers to the uh, tradition that the, during Ramadan the gates of heaven are opened oh, and the gates of heaven are closed and the satans are changed. Does this refer to the people who are keeping the fast or is it more universal? You see, this is uh, a hadith which I was going to take up during my next sermon, inshallah. Right. At length and in depth I will try to explain everything about it. But uh, just a cursory study would not make anybody get the get. I mean, understand anything from this, right. because uh, if the gates of hell are closed, to whom? And if the gates of heaven are open, to whom? That is the question. Mm -hmm. Because it doesn't mention believers or those who are keeping fast. So it is just uh, an expression, a sort of invitation to, or uh, I mean, to warn people against committing sins and continuing to commit sins during a month which is sacred. Mm. And if you do that, if you do that, I mean, that's the message implied. Then, al although ordinarily sins are, of course never approved by Allah, but during certain days, if you commit sin, sins, you are held liberally responsible. Mm. Things which one normally do, da, does, which have nothing of illeg illegality about them, become doubly illegal at certain times, like during the day of Sabbath, mm. things which okay previously before the Sabbath was imposed, were forbidden, although normally in daily life they are not forbidden at all. So I think that is the general spirit of this Hadith. Mm. So at times when somebody is... Uh, now let's first think in human terms, because the terms which I am going to use do not apply to God literally, of course. If you are in the presence of uh, a king, who is sitting in audience before the people, then to misbehave is doubly punishable. Mm. And if at that time you make advances, uh, no, not make advances, but to you try some to uh, to pl present your case to him, which otherwise will be difficult for you to do because of the distances involved. Mm -hmm. If you are given a close audience and uh, you are able to present your case well, naturally one expects that case to be heard sooner than through other sources. Mm -hmm. So this is a scenario which we understand as human beings in relation to the people whom who we, we hold in awe or who are great or whatever they are. In relation to us, when we are given access, when we are close, this is the time for us to benefit as best as we possibly can. So these are the two uh, underlying messages. Hmm. Because exactly like in human terms, it is said Allah comes closer to the earth. Yes. So that is why I am saying we better understand it in our own experience and our own terms. Otherwise Allah is everywhere. So, what is the meaning of his getting closer? Mm -hmm. This means that uh, his more in, again, the word mood does not apply to Allah, he has no moods, but only to make you understand in human terms, the Holy Prophet says that Allah comes closer to you and is ready to receive, ready to respond. So, if you make a special effort during these, this month to get closer, then you are far more likely to be heard than otherwise. Mm. And this is the meaning of the door of heaven mm. being wide open. Mm. Otherwise, uh, these parables and metaphors should not be taken.